Hey guys, I wanted to show you uh, two blocks from um, the Mine Factory Reloaded mod for FTB um, and how you can use them to have a renewable, um, sustainable source of power that really is automatic and you don't need to touch it all except for at the start. Um, and it revolves around the harvester and the planter. Um, the planter um, these ones take Minecraft jewels, as you can see I've got uh, redstone um, energy pipes. <coughs> and when we look inside we've just got a 9x9. In here what you do is you just fill it up with leaves. Um, you can put a module in here to upgrade it, such as a cop one increases its growing radius by 4. Um, and these 9 squares they also uh, Essentially you can put different kinds of seeds in here, so if you put a different seed here, uh, this corner of the growing area will be this seed instead of that one. Um, and once you've got that started, what you need is some sand, Oop, I'll shift that, see we've got one there already. Uh, the, this, the starting off one is only a 3x3, three three, and so you get uh, it growing up like this. Okay, now to harvest it, uh, where's the redstone pot? I really should have had more. <laughs> okay, to harvest it, you just pull the harvester out, and the harvester will harvest the same area space in front of it. <coughs> it also has these options shear leaves, small mushrooms, jungle wood. Uh, now, if you're using jungle trees, you need to take this. I wouldn't recommend it because it uses more power to remove the vines. Um, these ones, if you want to shear all the leaves off, so if you want leaves or whatever, uh, you can do that. Um, the upgrade module is the same as the planner, so you can, when you add to the planner, you want to add to this as well. Uh, you can, okay, we've got pipes, pipes, pipes. Uh, iron transfer pipe will do, just to show you. using my Omni tool, which will open it that way. Uh, no chests, no chests. It doesn't matter. Okay, now once the plants are grown like this, we'll just grow one using some... It's all up. And then it should spit what it gets out the back. Should spit it right out the back. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, uh, chest <laughs> stuff up. Okay, now there we go. Uh, we'll do that again. Works pretty fast. It takes energy to get rid of the leaves and the log as well, and should pump out the back. So we've got this, this, and this. Now, how do we turn this into a renewable energy source by doing this? This is uh, my first attempt at doing it. So we've got the plant underneath the ground. Um, this chest picks up extra seedlings that are that get made over time, because eventually it'll create more seedlings than it needs. Um, so we'll just do that, and it'll get rid of the leaves and such. I have some, I think that's stone piping goes towards the diamond pipe which then directs the wood into this powered furnace. The uh, seeds go up and over into that box and then eventually back into the machine and if not into there. But the furnace takes the wood, turns it into coal which then gets pumped out to the pipe and in this case goes to a stirring engine. Stirring engine then goes and charges up this redstone energy cell. Now this system's pretty simple and not very powerful. Um, you need to make it really bigger like that one over there. But another thing about the uh, harvester is it does create sludge which you can destroy or store up in a multi-tank here. Okay, now let's look at the 
the other one I made, which is a little bit more compact, a little bit more powerful. Um, the this time the coal that gets charcoal that gets created goes into a steam boiler, which is incredibly efficient. Um, I've got it running two hobbyist steam engines, which power. So you can see it does make uh, a little bit more power than the other one does. Um, and I've got a void pipe here to uh, get rid of extra seeds and so forth. The harvester also has a, a void pipe, a water pipe pipe to get rid of all the sludge that I'm not using. Now, if you want to go crazy, you can do that. <laughs> this is, I think, might be the Maximus, Max, Maximus. Yeah, it's like Gladiator. Maximum size you can go. Uh, with a, I don't know, you can probably go more. That's an emerald upgrade. That's an increase of 11 squares. That's 11 squares out from the original three. So, as you can see, it's not really doing much because it's night time. Plants don't grow at night time, so let's just turn the sun on. And sun! There goes one tree. Another. Another. <laughs> this one, this machine here actually pumps out so much coal that not even a uh, what's that a, a three tall three by three steam boiler um, can handle all the coal that goes into it and even this chest is full so you can imagine you could pump this stuff into more engines and create a massive massive amount at the moment this engine's creating there's a uh, what are these engines doing? Eight. Now these ones are industrial ones actually, so they're doing eight each. So I think I calculated something like they're about doing about seventy Minecraft joules output. So as you can see, this one's going to be full. So <coughs> I think that's it for this video. Um, you can do these things with uh, gold and conductive piping if you want. Um, just be careful because gold conductive piping will explode if it builds up too much engine energy and in this case it probably would with the amount of energy it's flying through this thing. This one's probably incredibly wasteful. Oh, I think that's about it. Uh, got any questions, uh, comments, suggestions, uh, post them down the bottom. Um, likes and subscriptions would be awesome. Um, yeah, thanks guys. Until next time.